everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single week. And as always, no matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we get into some NBA action for this weekend, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which will have all the tools you need to make your picks. So let's take a look at some NBA action for January the 28th. And we're going to take a look at five games, so let's get started here. First game we want to take a glance at here is the Boston Celtics and the Atlanta Hawks. Both teams are currently outside the playoff picture looking in at 9th and 11th in the Eastern Conference. You notice that both teams are burning hot at the moment. The Celtics are winners of their last two and four of their last six, and the Hawks have won four straight. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Boston's plus 16 while Atlanta is at plus 15 at the moment. The score prediction has this one as a relatively tight contest, 119 to 113 in favor of Atlanta, but the conference in prediction is a mere 26.8%. So take that with a little bit of a grain of salt at the moment. If you take a look at the over-under, both teams have been under in the last game, Boston under in four of the last six, and Atlanta has been over in five of the last six. So I'd kind of avoid the over-under in this one with both teams being under in the last one. And there's a little bit more of an inconsistency factor there as well. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how consistent have the two teams been performing it with according to their favorite underdog status? You can see that Boston is at plus 14. They've been very stable, very consistent. While Atlanta is still relatively consistent as well at plus 8. So take a look at the favorite underdog status in this one when you go to place your bet. Atlanta is the home team. I do think Atlanta is going to have the advantage at home. I like them to win in a tight, high-scoring game. This one could actually end up going to overtime before it's decided, which should be a good contest. The Lakers and the Hornets. The Lakers enter 8th in the Western Conference, and the Hornets are 7th in the Eastern Conference. You can see that the Lakers are average status winners of three of their last six, while the Hornets are average down coming off two losses, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six as well. If you're looking at the over-under, take a look that um, the Lakers have been involved in games under the line in three of the last six and over in three of the last six, while the Hornets have been under in four out of their last six, including four straight. Uh, with the exception of the loss to Toronto, which was 125-113 to in their last game on January the 25th. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, see that the Lakers here are all the way down to plus nine. Charlotte is at plus 20. Wow, excuse me, they're at plus 19. They were up to plus 26 back on January 21st. So you can see what's happened with them on their downward trend. The score prediction has this one and a relatively comfortable win for Charlotte, 115 to 108, but with a little bit less than 50% level of confidence. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. You can see the, how stable the two teams have been. The Lakers have been much more consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. They are likely to be road underdogs in this one. I do like this one to go the Hornets' way by about five points, but I would avoid the over-under bet. Nuggets and Pelicans, Pacers, Thunder. You can see there's quite a few games here. We're not going to take a look at all of them. The Clippers and the Heat. This should be a very good game. The Clippers enter ninth in the Western Conference, and the Heat are on top in the Eastern Conference standings. You see that the Heat is average up at the moment, coming off of a win and 4-2 and over their last six. While the Clippers have average status, they are 3-3 three and three over their last six contests. As far as the over-under goes, both teams have been trending in games over the line in the last two. That's a good indication of betting the over in this one. The power rankings indicator shows both teams on the downward trend, right? You can see that Miami was at plus 27. Back on January 21st, they are at plus 21. While... Los Angeles was plus 13, and now they are plus 7. And that goes along with their stats of average and average up. Neither team playing their best ball at the moment, although both teams are coming off of a win. The score prediction has Miami in a blowout, 123 to 102, with 69% level of confidence. And actually, that has changed. It was Clippers 111 108, with 69% level of confidence when I wrote up this, this little piece here just a little while ago. So you can see how that has changed. Take a look at the stability factor, the volatility oscillator. You can see here as we scroll this up here, the Clippers are at plus 8. 
the Heat are at plus five. So both are pretty consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. So what does that mean as far as what I think is going to happen with the outcome of this game? I don't know. The Heat's just a much better team. They are, right? Even though they have only been, uh, what, two and one over the last three, not playing their best ball lately, but they're clearly the better team. They will win this one, and I like this one to go over the line. Portland and Houston. Jazz and Memphis. Lots of good games here, but I'm only going to take a look at one more. It's the Chicago Bulls and the San Antonio Spurs. The Bulls take their second best record in the Eastern Conference into San Antonio to face the 12th seeded Spurs in the West. Uh, the Bulls are ice cold up at the moment. They are only two and four over their last six, and they're coming off a, a mere one point win over Oklahoma City in their last game. You see, they have been in games involved over the line in four of their last six. And San Antonio right now is average status. They are 3-3 three and three over their last six, coming off of a blowout win of 30 points over Houston. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. You can see here that right here, Chicago is at plus 17. They were up to plus 25 back on January 21st. And San Antonio is still near the bottom of the league at plus 2. The score predictor has San Antonio in a surprising 15-point blowout win with 87% level of confidence. And that has changed from the 117-113 score with the Bulls winning with 87% confidence just a short time ago. So you can see that this fluctuates a lot. So take a look at this as it gets closer and closer to game time to see what it's showing. As far as the stability factor goes, Take a look at this, and this is a good stat here to look at. See here, the stability of plus 15 and plus 10. That means these teams are both performing very, very consistently according to their favorite underdog status. I would have to think that the Bulls, despite playing not very well as of late, the Spurs are just not a good team at all, really, right? So the, the Bulls should be the favorite, even though they're on the road. I do like the Bulls in a tight game by three points or less and in a game going over the line. And then there's Minnesota, Phoenix. I'm not taking a look at that one. And there's the Knicks and the Bucks. And this is actually the last game I'm going to look at. Actually, I thought it was the other one. But this is the last game I'm going to look at for the day. The Knicks come in outside the playoff picture looking in, while the Bucks are bunched near the top in the conference. The Bucks are burning hot at the moment, winners of their last two, and three and three over their last six. While the Knicks are ice cold down, losers are four out of their last six, and coming off of a two-point loss at Cleveland. The score prediction has Milwaukee by 9 points, 118-109, but the confidence of prediction is very low here, just 35%. So take a look at that as it gets closer to the game time to see if that has changed. Milwaukee is at plus 21 on the power rank indicator, up from plus 14 about a week and a half ago, well, actually about a week ago. And the Knicks were at plus 8 just a couple of days ago, and they have climbed a little bit up to plus 11. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator. Are these teams performing consistently? Yes, indeed they are. Look at this, plus 15 and plus 13 on the stability factor. That means take a look at the uh, favorite underdog status and take a look at it very closely. And it's not going to be a surprise. Milwaukee's at home. They're definitely going to be a home favorite. Probably a re relatively big home favorite. I like the Bucks to win by about six points, maybe up to double digits. But I would avoid the over-under bet in this contest. So there you have it. Those are the games. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.